Hi there, this is Lucius Laframboise from ENG Suite. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Fisher's Least Significant Difference to um, take a look, a further look into your ANOVA to see which groups have significant differences. So, um, we're using some data that we already ran a one way ANOVA on, and we found that there is significant variation somewhere between these treatments. So, that means that we have to figure out where that is. Um, Last time we learned how to use Tukey pairwise, but at ENG Suite, we want to give you the best tools for all scenarios. So we're going to today use LSD and tab to open it up. Just like the ANOVA one way, we just have to select our treatments with each column being a different treatment. So gear one is one treatment, gear two, gear three. Those are all different treatments with the first row in that column being the label of the treatment and then all of those measurements down below. And then all we have to do is hit enter. And there we go. Now we have our Fisher least significant difference. Now this is super long because it's what, what it's doing here. And we aren't going to go into the math, just teach you how to use it. But it's comparing each individual treatment with every other treatment at least, well, only one time. And it has them sorted based on which uh, mean is the, the highest. So, and then what you'll want to do is you want to look through at these p-values and see which ones are significant from each other. So you'll notice um, gear five is significant there, depending on your alpha level. Um, gear seven looks significant there, depending on your alpha level. Um, Gear 5 again, and if you'll take a look um, at that Tukey pairwise, you will see that Gear 5 doesn't is, is quite a bit lower than the rest. Um, like I said, not going into the math, but that is the quick and easy way to do a Fisher LSD in Excel using QE Suite. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.